Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well, as you probably may or may not have noticed, I've been switching over to butane. And some of my stoves, which I need to go get now. I just realized. So what I have is I have the Primus stove, I actually have two of these, and the MSR pocket rocket. Okay. So, I was talking to my buddy, uh, my fellow YouTube brother. I can't get the view screen to come around. There we go, so I see what yours. Um, and we were talking about a stove adapter for the butane. And this was uh, 15, like 63 on, or 1763, damn it, I don't remember now, on um, Amazon. And the idea being, you know what, I do need the adapter for this. Or do I? Yes, I think I do. Let me go get my other. Okay. So here's the adapter. You can get these on Amazon. And all it does is it just clicks in. And you just got to turn the head to tighten it. And I believe, you know, I don't know if you actually need that or not. As I'm looking at it, I'm literally just pulling this out for the first time. I think you just... I don't know now. So I know this the stove part. I might be missing an adapter, I think. Here's the pocket rocket. And basically it screws on to the stove like this. As it won't screw on. Come on, buddy. Wow. Does it go on this way? No. It's got to go on this way. Wow. Oh, there it goes. It was just being stubborn. So you screw on your stove. Now oh, I see this top here is threaded, so. I might actually need an adapter for this. There's no threads on the can. Unless, unless it clicks on like this. Thing must screw on here. Okay, so we're figuring it out. Except there's no notch to indicate this might be the upper part. Unless this part here, I guess we'll find out, is the up position by default. So let's, uh, let's crank it up. Okay. Let's see if we get a, a huge ass flare up. Sweet. So I think what happens is, is the uh, notches here are the default 
for setting it down. Let's see if I can do a zoom in on that. So. Kind of just, you know, I, I do want to say I do kind of apologetic about fumbling through some of these uh, types of things, but mainly it's because I like giving the, the audience the real what's going on. So it may not be the smoothest transition, but you know, you're, you're seeing it, how it's happening, the way it's happening. Nothing faked, nothing. I'm not going to sit there and make a video and not show you how what's really going on. So, but that's burning nicely. So, money. I didn't need this at all. So that's good to know. I can actually use this for other other cooking vids. But that's just cranking along nicely. Sweet. It's the little things in life. All right. Okay. So I'm, I'm basically letting this cool down. I know for a fact that this is going to screw on the Primus stove without any issue. Um, if you're wondering why you haven't seen the pocket rocket out more, just um, I like the stability of four posts versus three posts. And if you put a canteen on here, it's not really going to fly. Yeah, but a kettle so. would have no, no problem sitting there. So if I was boiling water for a drink, or for like say a mountain house meal, you know that that would be that would be just fine because you know it's got a nice wide bottom to sit the stove on. So, cool. Well, so far I'm gonna say pretty happy with it. I'm still waiting for it to cool down so I don't burn the crap out of my hands. Um, it was about. Uh, I might throw the cost in the screen, but it was under 20 bucks. I think after taxes and shipping, because I'm no longer a Prime member, it was like 24 or 25 bucks after all that. So 5.5 ounces, no leaks yet. Even though I, you know, a little rough for me putting it together, which you probably like, probably rolling your eyes, and I don't blame you. But it was literally the first time I put this together. As you can see, so and I managed to not screw it up this time. So. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's a good looking stove too, I gotta say. Not very heavy, comes in a nice convenient little, little plastic case. Money. I could hear a little, a little fluid leaking out, but that's only because it's not tight on there anymore, which is not a big deal. You're gonna have that with any stove, so. Nice. And of course I got the little, uh, turn handle. Food coming out. There we go. Being a little stubborn. Sweet. Yeah, no problems at all. Gotta say, I'm uh, initially out of the box. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it was 5.5 uh, .5 ounces. But you know, if you're cutting weight, uh, uh, it's up to you if you want to carry it. I, I probably will carry it. I don't mind. You know, and it's still a little hot. I'll give it a little bit before I tear it.
Well, all right, probably just a quick video. I'm not going to cook anything on it now. I'm actually going to be cooking uh, cooking something here soon, but um, that'll be another video, which I'll link this video and that video so you can go check this adapter out. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, wasn't overly expensive, not overly really heavy. I'm pretty much making a full switch over to butane, just cheaper and get more of it. Well, more of it at the same cost of one of these little guys. Although I guess these work better in cold, but still, I mean, I'm not hating on these. These are these are so good, but I want to save a few bucks, save a few bucks on the butane. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, links for the product will be in the uh, description below. Uh, just you know the info, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.